Welcome to Math with Wong. Today we're going to look at number six of the May 2024 math exam paper one. Um, so this question is a geometric sequence question, but if you take a look at it, it's actually more of one of those mathematical proof reasoning kind of questions. Because it's geometric sequence, you're going to go to the formula booklet. You're going to look up the formulas. Um, now they want a sum and they give you um, the first term, u1, which is 1. And they give you the common ratio of 10. So if you sub into the formula for a geometric series, sum of n is going to equal to u1 times r to the power n minus 1 over r minus 1. Well, the first term is a 1. The common ratio is 10. So this is 10 to the power n minus 1 over 10 minus 1, which is 9. Right? So that's in the right format of a raised to the power of n minus 1 over b, where a is 10 and b is 9. Right? So in the format, you see how that's the format that they're looking for? So A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 9. That's part A. Part B, with this, they say then show that sum of one term and two terms and three terms and four terms all the way to the n term is equal to this. Right? Well, so let's take a look at what is the sum of one term using this formula. Well, sum of one term is going to be 10 minus 1 over 9. Sum of two terms is going to be 10 squared minus 1 over 9. Sum of three terms is going to be 10 to the power 3 minus 1 over 9. And if you keep on going to the nth term, this is going to be 10 to the power n minus 1 over 9. And what I want is I want the sum of all those terms. The sum of all those terms. So the sum of those terms is going to equal to 10 minus 1 over 9 plus 10 squared minus 1 over 9 plus 10 to the power 3 minus 1 over 9 plus all the way to 10 to the power n minus 1 over 9. Now, there's a common denominator, so we're going to combine them together. And the numerator becomes 10 minus 1 plus 10 square minus 1 plus 10 to the power 3 minus 1 plus all the way to 10 to the power n plus minus 1. Now, if you take a look at this, you're going to realize that um, if I only looking at the terms with the 10, that this is a geometric sequence. And you can also separate the minus ones. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a new geometric sequence with the first term being 10 and the common ratio being 10 as well. Right? That u1 is 10 and the r is also a 10. And on the other hand, the minus ones, there are n minus ones. So n times negative one is going to be negative n. So if I want the sum of all these terms, this side is going to equal to a times r to the power of n minus 1 over n r minus 1. So 
So this section, this part is going to equal to 10, 10 to the power n minus 1 over 9. And this is the sum of the of all the highlighted yellow terms. Right? So all those sum of the all the yellow terms. I mean, technically, I should add dot, dot, dot there. And this is the sum of all the green terms. So the sum of the two things then is going to equal to 10 times 10 to the power n minus 1 over 9 plus negative n, or you can say subtract n. all divided by nine. Common denominator all divided by nine is gonna make the final answer over 81. And the question asks you to show that the sum of all those is 10 times 10 to the power n minus 1 minus 9n over 81. So therefore, we have shown that the sum of all those terms is equal to that. Okay, thank you for watching.